Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm talking about my Ronin S. Yes, I've got it back from DJI and it appears to be all fixed and it's all working properly again. Now, I want to talk to you guys about a set of calibrations that are available on the Ronin S if you're having problems, A, with your joystick, so your joystick is drifting, so when you're using it, the gimbal is constantly moving. And a second one that allows you to adjust the fixed positions of the motor when it's set forward. Now, what I mean by that one is when you double tap the trigger, it resets the gimbal to face straight forward. However, if you're having a problem where any of your axes are off, so when you set it forward, your gimbal is actually not straight in the yaw position, or you're finding the roll is off, or the pitch isn't set straight, there is a hidden option in the menu within the Ronin app that allows you to adjust these parameters. Now, I will say, before you use this, you should always make sure you have fully calibrated your Ronin S on a flat surface first, and made sure all of the other calibrations are correct. If none of them resolve this, then that calibration is the last and final option that you can try. However, as I said, it is a last case option, and you should only do it when it is absolutely necessary. Before we start, please do subscribe to the channel. You can do this by clicking the button in the bottom right hand corner of each video. In the description there are also some links to the products you've seen and by purchasing from these you do help to support the channel. Okay, so the first calibration is the stick calibration. Now you would want to do this if your gimbal was drifting automatically without any input. So if you was left at here and it was starting to just drift sideways with no input whatsoever, then the stick calibration is the one you want to do. To do this, you simply tap the trigger four times and you hold it in on the fourth tap for a few seconds and then all the LEDs on the front will begin to flash. So to do this, you go one, two, three, four, hold and then you will see the leds begin to flash you then move the stick through all of its extremes and once you're happy you've put it in all of the places that it would go put it back in the center and then you tap four times and hold again to save Okay, so the next calibration is to adjust the center positions of the motors. Now, as I mentioned at the start, this should only be done if you've already done all of the other calibrations on a perfectly level surface and it has not resolved the issue. Basically, if your gimbal is not pointing straight when you double tap the trigger or that the pitch or roll motor is not in the correct position, then this is the calibration you will need to do. To begin, you need to open your Ronin S app when it's connected to your Ronin S, click on configuration, motor parameters, scroll down and click on the option that says more to reveal more of the settings at the bottom. Next, look at the option that is called joint angle. This is showing you what position the gimbal thinks it's in in relation to its settings. Now, to adjust this, you simply press and hold on the joint angle word for about five seconds. Once you've done that, an offset calibration will come up. Now, to do this calibration, you now simply adjust the position of the gimbal with the joystick. Get it so that your motor is perfectly straight, as well as the pitch motor at the top is pointing the camera straight as well. And when you're happy with that, you would then click OK. If you're not happy with it, you would simply click Cancel, and that backs you out of the settings. You can do this option as many times as you want. So if you don't get it quite correct, don't worry, you can do it again. However, I would not do it even once unless you are 100% sure that you've got a problem. But if your gimbal isn't pointing straight, don't worry, you don't actually have to send it back to DJI. You can do it simply by adjusting that joint angle settings in the app. And that is it for this video. If you've liked what you've seen, please do check out. We have over 150 videos on this channel covering everything from DJI right through to the Pixhawk 2 and various other things. We've also got them separated into playlists as well that help you navigate to the ones that might be relevant for you. If you like what you see on the channel, please do subscribe. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of every video. And by doing that, you will receive updates on any videos that we release in the future. Finally, there are some links to the products we talk about in the description for each video. I would really appreciate it if you are going to buy a product if you would like to buy via those links. By supporting the channel it allows us to keep buying products to be able to talk to you guys about. That's it, thank you for watching and I'll do another video again soon.